last night as I left the photo gate I had whales come up right next to the boat in the moonlight in the calm it was really beautiful the only thing is now I'm becalmed and I'm not able to get away but therefore I'm experiencing all this beautiful marine life and I get to see this beautiful coastline for a little bit longer now that I'm so to say on my way again I feel lonelier than I have during the whole trip yeah, so um, we're almost on the longitude of Cape Agulhas but not quite and uh, we're surfing along pretty nicely here um, of course on a camera one never really sees quite how big the waves are they're not huge but they're pushing us along nicely it's uh, definitely getting chilly mm, we've got this nice big swell to surf yeah these are nice conditions i hope they can last for a bit wind but the seas really unpleasant there's swell from all sorts of directions and um, yeah I'm sure looking forward to getting out of this it's hailing It's uh, early morning, the sun has just risen and we're on our way to see if we can find Tapio. We're about 18 nautical miles away so hopefully we'll get to him real soon now. So uh, yeah now he's on the ship on his way to China. Heaven forbid but if I ever had to land up in a life raft <laughs> with someone else then he'd be the person I'd want to be in a life raft with because um, you can tell he knows how to keep his calm and, and he's positive and there's, uh, there's no replacement for positivity in this life and I'm really 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 glad that he's safe and I'm, I'm glad that I was in a position to help Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. What a Christmas. I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, you look fantastic coming in. Oh, cool. And I know you smile a lot, but you didn't stop smiling since you got here. Oh, no, I know. I'm in a, I'm in a great mood. I've, uh, this place is stunning. I'm just yeah. blown, mind blown by how beautiful it is here. These eucalyptus forests and everything. So. Yeah. Uh, and so what's, what's your feeling from Cape Town to here? Like, how was it overall? Um, overall, it was really good. I had a few highs and something getting stuck that got on my nerves but otherwise it was actually an easy sail to be honest for Indian Ocean standards yeah so yeah yeah, yeah. But obviously the boat looks good is it good it's good yeah. I don't have any issues oh, minor things you know a little bit of chafe here and stuff like that but um, standard wear really so everything's good yeah so um, a lot of expectations for the next leg <laughs> in terms of for everyone like getting around the horn and everything you're ready yeah. for it you're up for it how do you feel uh, yeah I'm up for it I'm looking forward to it um, I must admit when I come into a beautiful place like this I kind of wish I could go and explore so it's going to be a little bit difficult leaving um, as it was Cape Town but it's okay I'll get back into the groove of it and then I'll be enjoying myself out on there on my own again yeah um, well, coming in here was certainly one highlight. Uh, coming into Cape Town was kind of strange. Actually, going out of Cape Town was quite strange because I, I went too close inshore and I didn't have wind. But yeah. I had whales around me all night and they yeah. were surfacing so close I could have leaned over and touched them. So that wow. was really special. Yeah. 
Um, and then actually just two days ago when I didn't have wind, I um, stopped and I was standing on the stern and I thought, oh, it's a nice day to have a swim. Yeah. <laughs> just as I was thinking that, a little shark came up. <laughs> just okay. a little one, like he was probably only up to my um, neck, but then I thought, oh, I'll just stand watch the shark from the stern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, uh, it was quite a shock to get that uh, message saying Tapio's boat is gone, sunk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, once I started heading for him, I went as quickly as I possibly could because uh, I, I can't imagine sitting in a little life raft on the southern Indian Ocean. Um, but I must say one thing that really surprised me when I got to Tapio and uh, even before, even when we were talking on the radio, he was extremely positive. Yeah. He was really positive and when he came aboard, he was joking. He still said, oh, I should scrape a few barnacles off your stern while I'm sitting in the life raft here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it, was, uh, it was an eye-opener to, to see someone who's so positive, uh, who's just lost the whole boat and everything yeah, absolutely. on it. absolutely. Still, uh, you know, yeah, it was amazing what you did. I mean, it was quite incredible. So thank you. Oh, well. <laughs> From a lot of people. In, anyone would have done it for anyone. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah.